Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back on the series Vromia. Vromia did exceptionally well on the channel. You guys were in love with the series. I even got to talk to the creator, Amakade Bozo, and I know he is super appreciative to the love that you guys have shown his series as well. And we now have two new videos in the series. If you didn't see my last two videos on Vromia, please be sure to go check them out. The links to them will be in the description down below. But we are left on kind of a weird decision at the end of the last one. So I'm very curious to see where we go from here. Also, as always, please be sure to go support Amukade Bozo. His channel link will be in the description down below. And all right, guys, enough of me talking. Let's hop right in. Tape 5. Locust. History of the world. Locusts. Okay. Locusts are numerous species of swarming short-horned grasshoppers of the Acridiidae family. Locust is derived from the Latin word locusta, which means grasshopper. These insects are normally solitary, but under specific conditions their numbers increase and they change their behavior and habits, becoming gregarious. Um Hold on, what'd that say? Gregarious, living in flocks or loosely organized communities. Okay. Normally, these grasshoppers are harmless in small numbers and do not represent a significant economic danger to agriculture. However, when drought is followed by fast plant growth, serotonin in their brains causes drastic changes. They begin to mate abundantly, becoming sociable and nomadic, loosely defined as migratory, when their populations get dense enough, they create swarms of winged adults from bands of wingless nymphs. Both bands and swarms move they look out, huge. swiftly stripping fields and destroying crops. The adults are strong flyers that may go long distances and consume the majority. No, oh, hold up. Severe weather statement, National Weather Service, California, 4.30 a.m. EDT, Sunday, December 25th, 2013. Okay, sandstorm warning in effect until NA EDT. Okay, so we got a sandstorm warning and it's currently the day before Christmas. Interesting. The following counties and areas, please evacuate immediately. Oh damn, that's a lot. All in California makes sense is that just like every county in california <laughs> may god have mercy on us the locusts have caused and back to our regularly the scheduled program on the graves of the ancient egyptians and they are described in the iliad the mahabharata and the bible swarms have destroyed crops causing famines and human migrations more recently, modifications in agricultural techniques and improved observation of locust breeding areas have enabled early control methods. Traditional locust control methods include pesticides applied from the ground or from the air, but emerging biological control approaches are proving successful. Swarming behavior declined in the 20th century, but despite contemporary monitoring and control systems, swarms may still develop. Plagues can emerge when ideal climatic circumstances occur and vigilance falls. Locusts are huge insects that are ideal for zoology research and classroom study. Humans may consume them. Ew. Oh, hello there. Oh, no. I don't know what that means. Bro is literally speaking another language to me. Who was that though? That wasn't the serpent, I don't think. The serpent looks a little skinnier. Oh, okay. Okay. I tend to forget that all the Vromia stuff that we watched already was actually the prologue. So that's why this is technically the beginning of chapter one, I believe. Uh, we definitely have to translate all of this Greek here. The question is, how do I translate it? 
Okay, so it took me quite a minute, but I think I got all the translations to the Greek that was there. Understand your position in this world. You owe me your life. I freed you from that sulfur pit. Help me find what I'm looking for, and I will help you free your friend. Just remember, your name is... So obviously this is kind of confusing. We're led to understand that I believe we know who this person is talking to. Again, I have no idea who this is. I want to think it's the serpent, but I don't think it is. What it sounds to me is like, hey, I brought you back to life. If you help me find what I want, I'll make sure your friend comes back too. So this could be possibly carter or jackson we know that they were partners and they did both die together in the explosion that happened maybe this entity this thing is speaking to one of them again just they rising here just throwing it up in the air the main question is what does this thing want and how does it have the power to even do this again we only know what was in the prologue there was a lot of stuff about other killers there was a lot of stuff about satan and whatnot so this could have some kind of like supernaturalness to the series. I think the whole locust thing has some kind of meaning, maybe as a sign like a storm is coming and things are about to get way worse. Maybe that's what it means, but I guess we'll see. Let's jump into the next video, which this one looks like it's going to be something. Tape six, mother. All right, I'm already seeing here that we got something going on in the description. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll check it out after we finish the video. Maybe the video will give us a hint. Welcome to the fifth film of the Nirvana History Museum staff handbook. But our closing time protocol will be covered in this video. Does this have to do Your with the same museum? An employee during closing time is to ensure that our museum is ready to be closed up for the night and that it is ready to reopen in the morning. For an optimal closing schedule, always remember what times we open and close our doors. From Monday to Friday, doors open at 9 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. And on weekends, doors open at 10 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. Now that you have memorized our schedules, it is time to go through our step-by-step -step process to closing down our museum. Okay. But first, it is important to understand the layout of the museum, so that you understand everything you have to manage during closing time. Our museum is made up of two segments. Segment A and Segment B. Okay. Segment A contains three 360-degree cameras and Segment B contains four 360-degree cameras and one 180-degree camera, plus two additional 360-degree cameras located in the employee break room and the stairway leading to the basement. This means there is a total of ten cameras in the museum. Now that you understand the layout of the museum, let's go through our step-by-step -step instructions on how to close the museum for the night. First, let's start with segment A. Step one is to turn off all lights. This includes all room lights, spotlights and mobile show lights. Understand that the room lights and spotlights can be turned off using the four lights which is on the back left wall. Okay. But all mobile show lights must be turned off. Dude, this video is so detailed where it's even like telling you what wall the light switches are on. It feels like I'm actually watching a tutorial video for how to do this job. Off manually. Step two is to make sure the room temperature is set anywhere between 15.5 degrees Celsius and 21 degrees Celsius. Failing to set the room temperature to the correct level may cause mold, increase infestation of cockroaches, ants and locusts, and corrosion. And Locust. remember, any damage you cause to any artifacts will come out of your paycheck. Damn, yeah, I definitely so don't want to do that. try your best to not damage anything. Step 3 is to set all CCTV cameras to night observation mode. I was actually going to say that if they're turning all the lights off, how do the cameras see anything? They have to have some kind of like night mode or something, but it, it appears that they do. On certain cameras, it is difficult to determine.
whether or not the camera is in night observation mode or not. So here is a brief preview of when night observation mode is off or on. Okay. Hmm. This is an interesting look for a shirt. Okay, we're hearing a lot of glass, which we know based on the trash bags video. The killer broke through the front window of the museum, picked up the glass, or some of it at least, put it in a bag with the photo behind the dumpster. So this sounds like he could be collecting glass. Oh no, not more Greek. I hated that alarm noise, I'm not gonna lie. I'm fighting my temptations to end it all, but I try to keep my mind clean. I play with Brian. Whose perspective is this from? I grow plants. Very cool. I even go to church. Cool. But mother doesn't like that. Mother hates the church. Mother hates me. I feel alone. But I'm not alone. Mother is always there. Watching me. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, there's more Greek at the bottom. Did you see that? Good job. Now you understand how to lock up the museum during closing time. In the next video, we will go over what to do when artifacts are damaged or stolen. I'd actually definitely like to know about the next video too, considering that the Iron Maiden was stolen from that museum. What What is the protocol for that? All right, first things first, I wanna translate that Greek that we saw there. So this piece here that we saw in the video during the break-in when we heard the glass break translates to go back to sleep, Jamie. See you again soon, Jackson. Okay, so this Greek part here at the end of the video is actually the same Greek that we saw at the break-in section that I just translated. Is that what the mother is saying to this person recording? Is it Jamie that's actually recording all this? Hi, 3am editing Marcus here. Marcus said a lot of stuff in this explanation that made no sense because he got confused about names. So I'm just gonna re-clarify what he was trying to say. I am not at all sure what it means by Jackson, I'll see you again. That definitely sounds like Jackson could either still be alive or coming back to life. Not sure about that, but very interesting that you guys were right in the comments on the last video. You guys were saying how sus uh, Jackson's wife seemed during the interview with her eyes blacked out and then when it fades away, her eyes are still like super black and just weird. People were even saying the way that she was talking was weird. I don't know, maybe it's a bit weird that she really wants to see the uh, last thing that was on his body cam footage. 
maybe she was somehow in on it. Jamie should definitely get the hell out of there because his mom is acting way creepier now. I'm not sure if this is a paranormal thing where it's like maybe the serpent died, but his spirit moved on to someone else and it's now Jackson's wife or if maybe Jackson's wife was in on this the whole time somehow I mean it would explain why the first body that they found of that girl was so close to their house but it would also make us question a lot more things but uh all right back to the normal video I also don't think this whole museum thing is over I think this is just the beginning section of something that we're going to learn a bit more about because again last time we went over this the Iron Maiden was stolen from the museum and it seemed like the Iron Maiden was going to be a huge part in all of this and then we kind of never heard about it again and I'm sure it still has a purpose we just haven't seen it yet but we're kind of looking at how the Iron Maiden got stolen here god this is such a creepy image though man this would disturb me to all hell if that door over there was open and I saw that my mom was doing that I I'm leaving <laughs> Secret tape. Missing Diana Romo. Oh yeah, baby, I'm a genius. Wow, apparently only like seven people figured this out. So I told you at the beginning of that last video, there was some random stuff in the description and it does link to a secret video. Missing Diana Romo. I gotta watch the whole thing. You have stayed for too long. She's been dead for two years. It's time. Take Diana home. Find more people so we can break their chains. Also, you guys know, as always, I like to promote that you guys go and check out the videos yourself. If you did find this video, this little secret one here, I did leave a comment on there. So make sure to go like it if you do. Um, I'm not even going to call this number. I was informed last time that 555 in a phone number means that it doesn't work. So I guess I know when and when not to call now. <laughs> so this number definitely doesn't work down here. But who the hell is Diana Romo? We literally have no idea other than the fact that she's been dead for two years, apparently. Again, I feel like we're just getting started in this series. I mean, we literally are. We just got through the prologue and this is the beginning of chapter one here that we're going on. We're getting a lot of pieces. We're just not sure how they connect yet. Very similar to Gemini Home Entertainment, how we were given all this information and we weren't really sure how they connected or what made sense of what. I mean, even Gemini Home, it took like 18 videos for me to establish like a full connection of everything. And even then, I'm not even sure. But I'm just saying that because I'm saying don't get discouraged about this series if it seems like a a lot doesn't make sense i'm sure everything will come together soon but it feels like with this first chapter we're starting some new stuff but also trying to go over some old things and confirm some old things starting some new stuff with this whole diana romo thing and the whole video about the storm being coming but then also going back to the old stuff about the museum and jamie and what exactly happened with that so i'm definitely liking where it's going so far i just don't know how to connect the pieces man i'm pretty sure now after seeing how that greek text appears at the end of the last video that that is jamie Jamie's perspective that all of those videos are recorded from but I guess we'll just have to wait for some more please be sure to let me know all of your thoughts and theories in the comments down below because I need help with this one also please be sure to go check out Amukade Bozo's channel the link to his channel will be in the description down below it's always better for you guys to go and watch the videos yourself because you guys might find something that I missed if you did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like on it and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe we are extremely close to 200k super 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 close also big shout out to all my members I love you guys Guys so so much you guys are absolutely incredible and all right guys i'll see you in the next one peace